all praise is due to Allah we praise him we seek his help we seek his forgiveness and we seek refuge in Allah from the evil within ourselves and our evil deeds whoever Allah guides none can misguide him whoever Allah leads astray there is no one to guide him I bear witness there is no God but Allah alone without any partners and that Muhammad is his servant and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu ittaku Allah haqqa tukatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun yuslih lakum amalakum wa gfir lakum dhunubakum wa man yuti Allah wa rasoolahu faqad fada fawdan azim Allah said, O you who believe, O you who believe, fear Allah as he should be feared, and die not except as Muslims, means in a state of Islam. Allah also said, He will direct you to do righteous good deeds, and will forgive you your sins, and whosoever obeys Allah, and his messenger, he had indeed achieved a great success. Amaba. Today's topic topic is about belief in Qatar. So the first part of the Qutbah will talk about exactly the, what the Qatar is, what's our understanding. And the second part of the Qutbah, inshallah, that's uh, in brief about Qadr as well as the free will how it connects together in China so belief in Qadr destination the predestined it's one of the pillars of Imam so we're going to talk about four points in terms of this, I believe in Qadr. The number one, Allah knows everything. He has knowledge of everything, the past, the present, and the future. He has the knowledge of this as in general, as well as specific. He has the knowledge of eternity to eternity. You know, before the beginning and the, after the end, even the end. Eternity to eternity. So Allah knows everything. So that's why we say He has ilm uh, al the knowledge of the unseen. So that's the point number one. And the point number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written this. In Lahul Mahfuj, in a well preserved tablet. So, both of these points, these two points, actually Allah mentioned in the Quran. So, we'll go over a few of those ayah from the Quran, um, just the meaning. Surah Hajj, is ayah number 70. So it means, it's meaning Allah knows everything, the heavens and the earth, and indeed it's all written in record, and for Allah it is easy. Also in Shahi Muslim, our beloved <coughs> Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that Allah ordained the measure of the creation of the universe 
50,000 years before the heavens and the earth were created. In Sunan Abu Dawud, Rasulullah said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first created the pen and asked to it, write. The pen replied, O oh Lord, what should I write? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote, the decree, the qadr, all the things till the beginning of the day of judgment. So these are the first two points. Next, come to the third point. The third point of the qadr is that everything happens with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything. As Allah says in the Quran, and Surah Qasas, Ayah 68, meaning that Allah creates and chooses as He wills. Surah Buruz 16, Ayah, Allah is the door of all intents. Surah Ibrahim, Ayah number 27, Allah does whatever He wills. So, here we come to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever intends, He can do. Even in the Surah Al Nam, ayah number 112, if, let's say that something happened, that's the contest, and then Allah saying, if Allah willed that, they wouldn't have done such a thing. That's very important. Allah saying, if Allah willed, someone did something, a group of people that did something, so if Allah willed that, they wouldn't have done such a thing. Point number four. The fourth point in the belief in Qadr is all things that happen are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the essence, in the attributes, in the movement. The Surah Jamur, the ayah 68, where Allah says, Allah is the creator of all things and he is the maintainer of everything. Even in the Surah Furqan, Ayah uh, 2, Allah has created everything, ordaining it precisely. So as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has created everything happen, that doesn't mean that it interferes with the free will. We have a free will, right? We'll see. Uh, so, Quran, Hadith, um, Sharia, laws, and we know, even we know, we have free will. We know that. We have free will. So, Allah says in the Surah Baqarah, Ayah number two, 223, that uh, that's about talking about uh, approaching um, the spouse. That you can approach your tail the way you like it and when you like it. In Surah Taghavun, ayah number 16, the Allah says, Fear Allah as much as you can, listen to Him and obey Him. Also in the Surah Baqarah 286, 286 Allah doesn't lay a burden greater than a person can bear. And He earns every good that He does and He suffers every evil that He earns. So based on these, every human being has free will, right? Every human being has free will. So, if a person does evil, he's responsible for it. Allah has, that's why, given the guidance in the Quran, what is good and what is bad. Aqulu kawli hadha wa staghfiru la wa la wa Alhamdulillah, salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi azma'in.
So we know now that every human has free will. For example, say if I uh, say if I'm moving my hand, that's actually my will because I have a free will. I, I can do this. I can, you know, answer whatever I want to do. I can do that. All right. I can put it on the clothes, take it off. It's my will. I'm walking. Uh, that's the simple example of free will. Now, if say a heart is beating inside. I want to stop it, I can't actually stop it. Think about it, like yeah, so many things like this, right? I can't stop it, right? This is, there is something that someone is controlling that. Right? So, so what exactly this is in the free world really? And we're talking about the gutter, uh, you know. Well, I, I didn't, it's not my fault. Because all the destined for that, so well, I knew about it, and uh, he did it. Stuck for us, so Allah did it. You know, we, we just blame. It's very easy because everything is destined. This is the color written there already. Why bother? You know, it will happen. But there's a free will, though. What's the free will? Free will is what we can do. This is just, we're not angels. Angel doesn't have the free will. Right? So we can do. Whether we sleep, wake up, we want to go to work, we don't want to work, or we want to spend time in the machine, we want to read the Quran, this is free will. In the general sense, yeah. But Allah has also what? al Allah knows the unseen. Right? Everything He knows. And uh, He recorded things. Okay, that means whatever I will do in this world, that's not my fault. Give you an example, to see if it makes sense. Because it is confusing. Muslims, non Muslims, it is confusing about this other thing plus the free will. Uh, it's an easy example, this one I heard it many times. Say you have uh, in, a, in a classroom a few students, uh, the, the teacher knows about the students' work, well, right? So just generally, what it is, teachers, they know the student. One student probably really, really good, and he predicts that this person, this this uh, student, gonna be the number one, you know, first class, fast, uh, uh, the first, and the second one will be will be to be okay, and the third one uh, or the fourth one doesn't study at all. I think they're gonna fail, you know, like that. And the, when the result came out, was precisely the same. Yeah, who was supposed to be number one, but number one and number two, number two, and the other one failed it. And so if the students say, well, the teacher already predicted it, that I will fail, so I failed it. What do you think? Is it right? This, that student didn't go to public college or school, didn't really study at home, just going around here and there, maybe whatever, did, didn't study at all, didn't spend time, didn't bother, you know, doing anything. And he failed it. The teacher just know this person that what is going to happen because you're not doing it. Just a prediction, they probably will fail it. Yeah. And they fail it. It's not the teacher's fault here. That's because the teacher decided, predicted that you're going to fail. Right? So this is just, just an example to see if it makes sense. So, similarly, Allah knows already what we're going to do. That is written. All right, this person will have this many choices. We're going to choose this, and then we'll, this, this will happen. And that is the result. Allah already knew that. Because it's in my life. Okay? Just one little example here that I give you. Uh, that will help all of us actually to what we do and how we do things. So when we have to take an action, whatever is it, okay, um, then we face, often we face with the two, three, four, like that options. It's up to individual, up to me, which one I'm going to choose. I choose one, say we got, say three choices, four choices, I choose the number two, 
and whether it's a good or bad, okay? So I just choose number two, and this. It doesn't mean that I could not choose the three or the four or the one. I could, but I choose in this. And you have that consequences for that, whether it's a good or bad, whatever it is, we don't worry about that here. So, so Allah knows that this person will face this, or gonna make him facing this, and will have these options, and this is the gonna be choosing. And that is the free will. Allah did not make you doing that, okay? Allah does always good. Allah can do that anything, we know that. This is, this is on top of everything, okay? So don't confuse on that. But about the free will, how it happens. It's a choice, our choice. Um, so, just remember this, so free will or choices is the option that we will face in our life for to do something, or that we're getting married, or going somewhere, or that we decide, and then the part, as the, whatever result will be out, Allah already knows that, and that is written in the Qadr. This is one way of understanding of the Qadr. And anything else, it makes it really, really difficult and confuses. Okay, inshallah. So do your best and Allah makes us, whatever we do, that we do things with the help of Allah, with the blessings of Allah, so we can do the right thing. And if we do mistakes or anything, then please Allah, forgive us and guide us to the straight path. In terms of changing the color, we heard about that as well. We talk about that as well, inshallah, in future one of the kudba we can talk about it, inshallah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirat hasana wa kina adabar naar. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna ka hamidu majid. Ibadullah, inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wa lisani wa itaid al-kurba wa yanha anil fashai wal munkari wal bagi ya idhukum la'allakum tadhukkarun tudhukur Allah ladhima yadhukurkum Waskuruhu yazidukum, wastakfirullah yagfiru lakum, wattakuhu yazallakum min amrikum makhraza, wa akimu salam.